doing a video on uh, half tones, uh, how to create a half tone for uh, color separation for uh, screen printing. So right now, I'm just going to use a uh, template right here. I have uh, James Gandolfini, Tony Soprano. Um, just want to use this picture just uh, just as a reference. Uh, so let's get started. So right here we have the image of whatever it is you're going to use uh, as far as the picture. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to mode. Uh, I also want to mention I'm using uh, Photoshop CS2. Um, I know there's a uh, you know a lot newer versions of Photoshop. I'm just comfortable with this one. Um, I've tried using you know the newer versions, but it just makes makes everything a lot slower. I just find that on my my PC at least it just makes things a lot slower. It's a lot more lag. Um, so I, I'm just comfortable with the CS2. Always have been, and that's what I use. So anyway, <clears throat> the first thing, like I said, you're gonna transfer your image. You're gonna go to mode. You're gonna go to grayscale. Uh, you're gonna click right here on this blue part. You're gonna right click. You're going to go to image size. You're going to want to make sure that's going to be at a 300 dpi. And right here, we're going to do the image uh, height. Change it from 5. We're going to go to 8. Okay. <clears throat> so from here, what we want to do, you can tell the image is kind of flat. So we're just going to play with it a little bit. And now, right here, it's, it's really up to you. Um, so what I'm going to do here is try to catch a little bit more. There you go. See how it's a lot darker. Lighten it up a little bit. You want to catch all these little uh, creases and stuff like that. All the you know the hair, all that uh, as much as you can. Because if you if you go darker, you see right here, you're not going to see that all the you know the wrinkles and all that. Okay, so like I said, this is really up to you um, how light or dark you want it, uh, how detailed you're going to want it. Okay, so from there, you're going to go back to mode. You're going to go to bitmap right here, bitmap. Okay, see, you're going to get this screen right here. You're not going to mess with the output resolution because it's already at 300 dpi. Um, right here, halftone screen, uh, pattern, you know, there's different... Uh, modes right here so we're going to stay with half tone okay so right here okay there's different half tones uh the round diamond uh ellipse line square and cross okay this is like a like a cross hatch type thing so we're going to stay with the round uh which is just going to give us a little dots okay the frequency okay on the frequency the higher you go the more detailed you're going to get but you got to remember, you're going to say, okay, well, I want the most detail. I'm going to go with uh, 100. You really don't want to do that because when you go to expose, <clears throat> it's, you're not going to get all that detail. Your, your screen is going to start breaking up um, because you're trying you're trying to expose it and all the emotion is not coming out because the, the image, the halftones are so tight you're not getting enough light going through so it's gonna it's not gonna come out right so you want to kind of walk that fine line between the lowest half tones the the lowest number of half tones to get the highest uh, detail if that makes sense uh, so you can always go back if it doesn't look right and you can redo it so I'm gonna stick right here with 40 okay you see that that kind of looks crazy, right? But if you minimize it, that looks good. Okay, so whenever you do your half tone, if you see that, it, that's not how it's going to come out, right? See? So, see all those half tones right there? Yeah. All the little dots. That's what's going to come out. And you know what? This is a good size half tone. We should have no problem when we go to expose this. So, pretty much going to stay with that. Now this is good, you know, if you, if you have your half tones to where you have a big run, for example, like right here, um, I have my template. This template is going to be for if somebody wants to do uh, like a, a picture of a family reunion and they want uh, either a full color picture or 
Um, sometimes when I give them the price of the full color picture, because what I use, I use uh, the heat press transfer uh, with, with full color. It's just a lot simpler. The price goes up. So a lot of times, just to give them, a, you know, a budget option is I tell them, you know what, we can do a half tones. Um, see, okay, see how it didn't didn't come over. So from right here, what you want to do, you want to go back to mode, and you want to create, take it from bitmap to a grayscale. Okay. Now what you're going to do, depend, depending on the shirt color, like for example, if the shirt color is going to be black, let's go with white. White. Your shirt color is going to be white. You're going to want to come back to your magic wand here. You're going to want to grab the black. You're going to want to grab the black. Okay, you're going to right click. You're going to go to layer via copy. And you're going to transfer it over. Right here, I have some lag because I got some stuff running in the background. Okay, look at that. That's pretty decent. So now I'm going to go to Image or Edit, Transform, and Scale. So I use the same template when I do, for example, like in memory of shirts. Um, and stuff like this, like family reunion, stuff like that. Um, what I notice a lot of people do with in memory of is they'll use, uh, I believe it's like a 13 by 19 uh, or 11 by 17 transfer. And it's just a huge uh, transfer. But with that, there's a lot of different reasons I don't do that. It's because one, the ink. I mean, you're gonna waste so much ink. Um, plus, the time it's gonna take you to, to print each one out on the printer. But I mean, you're gonna be there all day because you want to get, you know, the highest, uh, the highest ink output uh, for it to look good. Okay, so just right there, you know, that's that's something I don't use. But also, when you press it on the shirt. You're going to have, you know, if you've ever worn um, a heat press transfer, it's just a like a big old, it's like you're wearing a big old hard piece of plastic on you and it gets real hot and it's not comfortable. It doesn't move. Um, it's just, it's something I don't like to use. So what I do, cost effective, looks nice, is I'll just do screen print right here. All, all this right here, minus the, the image, it's a screen print. Okay. Uh, whether they're going to do the screen print, uh, image right here, or they're going to do the heat press transfer. So if they do the heat press, it's a little little heat press right here. So the shirt's still comfortable. Um, it's going to be a lot quicker printing. You know your your, uh, your transfers. Uh, the job's going to go a lot smoother. Um, so that's that's pretty much how I do it. Um, and if they use uh, the half tones, it's great because you just one transfer, uh, burn the screen, especially if it's like on a white shirt or gray. I mean, black ink, you just knock those out like nothing. Um, so pretty much that's going to be how you do a uh, half tone. And there it is, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.